for this. Okay, again, the key takeaway is uh, support from 5GV for ICT-19 trials and experiments is planned in 5GV and is funded within the regular operations of 5GV but only until June 2021, which is basically the end of uh, the project, uh, the planned end of the project. So any support from July 2021 may be purchased directly from the 5GV facility site providers. As I mentioned, purchase means here that uh, we need to make provisions. Uh, you need to make provisions on how this uh, um, additional uh, resources and uh, equipment which may be needed is funded. Uh, Paul also mentioned that the main uh, facility providers guarantee the availability of the 5G mini sites until uh, one year after the project ends. I should perhaps say at least one year after the project ends, but one year is the guarantee. Now, the ICT-19 projects must include in their own budget provisions for any additional resources and equipment beyond that provided by 5G Bini needed for the integration and execution of uh, your experiments and trials. Right? I think we should make this very clear that I mean 5G Bini uh, provides support and access to the infrastructure as uh, and there is a basic service for that but uh, things that go beyond what is uh, provisioned by 5 gb need to be provisioned by you as ICT-19 project. Now where the individual experiments and trials require bespoke enhancement or customization of the 5 gb facility beyond the existing facility sites or capabilities as provided by the 5 gb project now, you have to provide a mechanism for the funding of such necessary enhancement or customization. Now, there are several options like uh, how these mechanisms could, uh, could be uh, foreseen. I can mention a few. Uh, I didn't put them on the slide because probably the list is not exhaustive anyway. Uh, certainly, there is uh, the most, let's say, uh, easy solution is that uh, the uh, qualified, uh, you know, partner uh, of 5G Vini becomes partner in your consortium, which is the, if you like, the, 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 the thing that has been uh, going on very actively uh, across the different consortia building as far as we can uh, sense. Another, couple, another thing could be, of course, another mechanism, of course, could be some sort of a service contract, uh, which uh, is based on the SLAs, as we mentioned them. Uh, so basically, you pay to receive this service. Now we uh, uh, we have uh, also uh, published. Uh, uh, Paul has done this in the ICT Information Day that uh, anything that will be charged from 5GV side will be at cost basis and nothing will be for profit. Uh, further mechanisms uh, may include things like uh, uh, in uh, um, in kind contributions against against payment. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is up to your proposal to uh, come up with, uh, to propose the mechanisms for how this funding uh, can be uh, secured. Now, please be aware that the human resources in 5G Vini are not unlimited, right? They must be balanced against all requests for integration and privacy execution support. And as uh, Paul and also Duncan mentioned, of course, again, the interest of uh, 5G Vini itself to deliver the deliverables that have been promised uh, towards the uh, European Commission. There is a practical limit, right, in the amount of uh, resources that can be supported. That's why it is extremely important and we strongly recommend that you discuss your requirement with us in advance to assess the level of assistance and support uh, that we can actually give you and uh, for which you can actually get some sort of uh, 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 for, and for which you must uh, make provision uh, for it in your uh, proposal. Okay, I think uh, this is uh, this is it. I don't know if more questions now have reached the um, uh, let me see yeah. if there are any more questions. Um, no, currently not. So my next uh, slide here is uh, basically the slide that uh, Paul has already. Um, please feel free and you are strongly encouraged to contact us to secure support from the 5G Vini uh, infrastructure, from the 5G Vini project. 
during the duration of the 5G BINI as a project, but also after that, because we expect that uh, many of the ICT-19 projects will run longer than the duration of the 5G BINI project. So you can use the central contact email, which is 5G minus or hyphen bini, 5G hyphen bini hyphen contact at 5G hyphen pvp.eu or the different uh, contact points for each of the individual facilities. For reasons of, uh, you know, protecting a little bit the individual uh, emails, uh, we have created aliases to the people that are behind that. But uh, be certain that this will be uh, these people are uh, going to be very responsive from now on until the uh, proposal date, uh, the proposal cutoff date, which is the 14th of November 2018. Uh, that's it. Any last uh, question? Any comment that anyone want to to write or to say? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, so it, it's Paul speaking here again. I just uh, have one uh, comment. I think uh, if you look at uh, the process that Duncan presented, uh, don't t consider this to be a very heavy process. We want it to be lightweight so that we can uh, we can achieve this uh, in, in an agile manner uh, in your proposal phase. So, so please look at don't look at this as no something very comprehensive and long time taking. That's one comment. The second comment is that I just want to thank for all, all the questions and, and participation. I think this brings a lot of value to us as well. Um, and please, please, um, please get in touch with us so that we can clarify things even further. So that's what I wanted to say, Tass. Thank you, Tass. Okay, thank you, Paul, and uh, thank you to the whole uh, 5G Vini team uh, in helping uh, getting this uh, webinar together. Uh, thank you all for your participation, for your uh, questions, which uh, will help us, of course, to uh, consider what is, in fact, really necessary here. And uh, um, finally, of course, um, uh, as I said, all material will be available on the website. Uh, give us a couple of um, hours, if you like, to put this on the website and make it also, uh, well, usable, if you like, from the usability point of view. And, um, uh, well, I think I will close the conference call now. Thank you very much for participating. And uh, I wish you all a successful SAP 19 uh, proposal, of course. No, but not all can win. So there will be winners and losers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye.